Yep. Hey, welcome back. If you saw last week's video, you got to see how we MIG welded this piece of art. And I had a few questions about some big gaps that I had up here. So I thought in this week's video, it would be the perfect time to show you how to fill holes and big gaps with your MIG welder. So today we're going to be demonstrating on this 18 gauge sheet metal. I'm going to fill this big gap on this 16 gauge tubing. Then I'll show you how we fill these misdrilled holes on this tubing. So here you see I've got a quarter inch gap. Let me show you how easy this is. Adjust your welder for the gauge metal you're working with. Use short bursts to form a bridge between the two pieces of metal, allowing time for cooling between the welds. With just a little practice, you'll be able to control the heat and keep the metal from burning. That's really all there is to it. Now you just do a little grinding, clean it up, and it's good to go. But let's say you've misdrilled a part. You need to fill one of these holes. Check this out. I like to tip the piece up on edge to allow gravity to pull the pool down each edge as I weld. Once again, pay attention to the heat, working it from side to side. It's just as easy as that. So that's 16 gauge tubing. But let's say you're working on your car or sheet metal. Let's do it on this 18 gauge. Here, you're going to have to be a little more patient, taking more time between weld bursts. So there you go, that's all there is to it. That's how you fill holes and weld big gaps with your MIG weld. Get out there and have some fun. We'll see you next week. Hey, if you've got questions, be sure to leave them in the comments box below. And if you want to see more videos like this, click subscribe. And be sure to check out these pre-cut DIY welding kits over at MitchellDillman.com. And while you're there, be sure to check out what I've been up to lately. There's new works added weekly.